Hello and welcome. This is Shilpan Patel from analyticshub.io where one and only one goal we have is to make you an awesome click developer. Today we're going to go over aggregation functions. As you know, aggregation functions take multiple input fill values and return a single output value. And if you work with click, I'm sure that you have used many of those such as first sorted value, min, or max functions. What I'm going to show you is that these functions also provide an optional rank parameter. And you can leverage that rank parameter to display the value of nth order. You can display the top value, you can display the second, third, fourth, etc. Alright, so let's dive in and create the expression and then create a multi-KPI to show you how that works. Okay, so in order to save a little bit of time, I created a table that has country, customer, salesperson, order ID, and revenue. Let's say we want to show a multi-KPI to show country and the highest order. So number one order, number two order, number three order by revenue. Okay, so we're going to leverage aggregation functions with the optional rank parameter and store that in a variable and then we'll use dollar sign expansion and on top of that we're going to pass a parameter. So we're going to parameterize our variable expression. Okay, so how we do that, let's click on edit and create a new variable called E revenue because it's an expression I'm gonna call it E the revenue and let's write an expression so as usual I'm going to use agar function as inner aggregation to create a virtual cube to display the cells the order ID and the country so start with agar sum of revenue, comma, order ID, comma, country. All right, so that's our inner aggregation. It's gonna create a virtual cube. Now, as you know, we can nest aggregation when we use agar, so we're gonna use max over that. Like that. But the trick here is that I can add additional parameter, comma dollar one. And the reason dollar one is we are parameterizing this expression. If you don't know how to pass parameters, I've created other videos, please refer to that. All right, so using this, we're gonna pass rank one, two, three. By default, if you don't provide the rank, implicitly it's one so if you haven't used rank before it is being used but it's implicit and it's one here we're going to replace that with two and three as well to show the second and third good enough so we're going to store this expression and then we're going to create another variable called e rank and we're going to use this variable within the other variable using dollar sign expansion so let's create second one e rank and that's going to be dollar e revenue and here we're going to pass there is a variable called v rank and simply v rank is either one two or three Okay, so apply and close this. And just to show you, I do have a variable called vrank with value one as an initial value. Close this. Now, these buttons do have the variables already set in the values being passed as one, two, or three, just to save time. 
So I'm going to go and create a multi KPI object now. Go into the custom objects and then visualization bundle. And under that, there's multi KPI. So I'm going to drag and drop here. And it requires a dimension, which is going to be country. And my measure is going to be E rank. I'm going to use dollar sign expansion with E rank. And if you see at the bottom, the expression is fine with comma V rank, which is our rank optional parameter. So apply this and it is showing values across the horizontal bar. Now, if you want to just show the top three values. We're going to limit this to top three. And sh don't show other. All right. Now, instead of showing the expression as a label, we're going to create a dynamic label. So let's go ahead and chain the label for the measure. And that is going to be equal, then pound, and V rank, and M percent by revenue. All right, so we're going to say pound which is number one by revenue, number two by revenue, etc. So now it says number three by revenue. So by default, it's number three. And we can add this also as master measure. So this is another way you can keep building your master measure library on the fly. So here, I can add it as a master item. And the good thing is you see the label expressions already being populated. I can change this by saying sales by rank and create. And there you go. Now I can change the format of the number from auto to number with one decimal. Okay, and click done. Now, if I click on number one, it shows me the value. It's not shorted properly, so let's click on add it and change the short order. So, sales by rank at the top and click done. And you see the value matches. The top one is Germany. The second is USA. And the third is Brazil. If you click on number two, now Brazil's showing top, the first value, Germany, USA, three, and so forth. The beauty of associative model truly signs here because I can now click on one of the salesperson and click OK. And for that salesperson, now I can see the top number one number two or number three values. Or I can click on a country such as France, clear the salesperson and see number one, number two and number three orders. So the gist of this video is that you can leverage this aggregation functions along with the optional rank parameter to show top values. I hope you liked it. And again, don't forget to visit analyticshub.io slash academy, where we have 18 plus courses we give, and we help you with certification with hands-on projects. So until next video, thank you for watching.